Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In my previous video, we looked at the 10 best states to move to in 2023. In today's video, we will look at the 10 worst states. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and help me to grow my channel. According to the US News and World Reports, which ranks the best states to live in based on the state's performance? They use a system to assess and determine the best and worst states to live in by reviewing public data and surveys and a metric system to determine the quality of life in each state. This assessment looks at eight categories, which are healthcare, education, economy, infrastructure, opportunities, fascial stability, crime and corrections, and natural environment. Overall, the states with the lowest scores based on these eight categories is considered to be the worst states to live in. So let's get right into the video. Coming in at number 10, Kentucky. Kentucky has been ranked number 10 on the worst states to live in 2023. This is due to the report of the assessment covering the eight categories I mentioned, health, education, economy, infrastructure, opportunity, fascial stability, crime and corrections, and natural environment. Kentucky performs well when it comes to crime, infrastructure, and opportunities. However, when it comes to fascial instability and health concern, it is ranked lower. This is due to a shortfall of funding of $1.8 billion. This is according to a report done in 2019. It is also ranked high when it comes to poverty in the state. In the health system, there is low child immunization and higher amounts of hospitalization, which can be preventable. According to the report, the state's health issues are related to people's poor health habits. Relating back to a lack of exercise and not e eating enough healthy food, such as vegetables and fruits. High levels of smoking and a lack of sleep contribute to the poor health care. Kentucky ranks 41 out of 50 in the best states to live, according to the report. Therefore, it is considered to be number 10 on the worst place to live. Let's move on to number nine, South Carolina. South Carolina is ranked the number nine on the worst states to live in report. South Carolina, high rates of violent crimes is ranked fifth in the US and the juvenile incarceration is 10% higher than other states. South Carolina per performance as per the report shows that the school elementary levels are behind the national average. However, high school graduates are at a rate higher. South Carolina has a high poverty gap between the poor and the rich. This affects the quality of education given to poor versus wealthier students. This deeply impacts and creates inequalities for many students who live in poverty. South Carolina is ranked 42 out of 50 best states to live in. This means it is considered number nine on the worst states to live in. Coming in at number eight, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, I said on my best places to live video, Oklahoma was one of the best places to live coming in at number 10. And now I'm saying it's on the worst place to live list. So you're probably wondering, what is it? Don't confuse us. I get it. Let's look and examine this report. Why is it considered to be the worst place to live? Keep in mind, this is a different report and I encourage you to do further research as it may be different on other lists and depending on the factors used to determine within the report. Oklahoma is on the best place to live a list due to its low employment rates and low cost of living. However, you decide which one based on the information if low cost of living and low employment outweighs everything 
listed on the worst place to live list. So let's continue. Oklahoma is number eight on the worst states to live in, based on the US News and World reports due to the poor health care and high crime rates. Residents between the ages of 19 to 64 don't have health insurance and 14.6% don't access health care treatments because the cost is too high for them to afford. Oklahoma, as per the report, have a high rate of non-medical drug usage and second lowest rate for healthy activities and eating habits. Oklahoma ranks number 16 in murder rates in the U.S. and has a high violent crimes, which can be an indicator of it being the second largest in incarceration rate, with 639 out of every 100,000 people are incarcerated. Lastly, it's ranked 43 out of 50 on the best states to live list, putting it towards the lower end or the desirable place to live. Coming in at number seven, Arkansas. Arkansas comes in at number seven on the worst place to live in the U.S. as per the report. Arkansas is considered to be the worst place to live due to the similar reasons as Oklahoma, poor health care and high, high crime. This is due to the lowest rates for dental care. According to the report, 12.9% of, of the residents do not access dental care because of the cost. In addition, there is a higher rate of tobacco consumption, second in the country, and a high rate for heart disease. Arkansas's incarceration rate and violent crimes are fourth in the nation. It is reported that 586 out of 100,000 people are incarcerated. Arkansas's rate of poverty and economic hardship is considerably above average. It is suggested that these factors, along with a lack of education, are the reasons for the high crime. According to the report, the state is ranked 44 out of 50 on the best places to live. This means it's further down the list. Alaska is coming in at number six, ranked on the worst place to live, according to the U.S. and World News report. The report says that it is due to the economy suffering as a result of COVID, which negatively affected the oil and tourist industry in Alaska. The Alaska Department of Labor reports that job growth was affected and unemployment along with wage increase was affected. Alaska has also a high violent crime rate. With all these factors, Alaska has been ranked 45 out of 50 on the best place to live in the U.S. With that ranking, it doesn't seem appealing to move to Alaska at the moment. Coming in at number five, Alabama. Alabama is ranked the fifth worst state to live in according to the report, and that's due to scoring low in areas of education and health care. The state has an education system ranking 50th in the nation, according to the report in 2019. With a grade of D+, this is due to lower student performance. They have attempted to correct this and make improvements. Therefore, it's happening, but at a slower pace. Alabama is ranked 49th in the country due to lack of access to health care. In addition, health issues such as obesity depression, kidney disease, diabetes are considerably high. Alabama is ranked 46 out of 50 in the best place to live in the U.S., making it sixth on the worst place to live in the country. Number four, West Virginia. West Virginia is number four on the worst place to live list, and let's see why. This is due to the poor infrastructure, which is considered one of the worst in the country. The roads are in bad conditions and in need of service and repairs. West Virginia is ranked 47 out of 50 on the best place to live list, therefore making it number four on the worst place to live. Coming in at number three, New Mexico. New Mexico is on the list 
at number three, according to the report, it is within the top five worst states to live in since 2017. This is due to its score on education and opportunities. New Mexico's public school has been ranked the worst and last in the country. This research was conducted by Edweek Research Center. In addition, the fourth grade reading levels are considered the lowest. 75% of high school students graduate. This is compared to the national average at 85.8%. Opportunities is also rated low in New Mexico. As per the report, 26% of children live in poverty. 17% of the overall state live in poverty. New Mexico ranks the highest level of child poverty in the country. All these factors make the state 48 out of 50 on the best places to live. Let's get to the last two remaining states on our list. Coming in at number two, Mississippi. Mississippi is ranked number two on the worst states to live in. This is due to Mississippi's low performance in a metric on many categories such as healthcare, infrastructure, and economy. Mississippi is ranked last in the country on healthcare with little access and large amount of residents without healthcare. With 14% of the residents stating they have not sought healthcare due to the cost. In addition, the state has a large obesity rate at 38.7% in the country, along with high infant mortality, premature births, and high levels of C-sections. At least 90% of Mississippi's residents live below the poverty line with a per capita income of 25,300 compared to the rest of the country. High levels of unemployment and food insecurities have caused Mississippi to be ranked 49 out of 50 best places to live. However, number four on the worst states to live in. Let's get to the last state. Number one, Louisiana. Louisiana is number one on the worst states to live in, according to the report. This state has been ranked the worst state to live in since 2017, and that is due to its low score in all categories. The main concerns are crime and low end education. Louisiana is ranked number one in homicides, along with a high rate of incarceration. At 680 people incarcerated for every 100,000 residents, Louisiana has an above average poverty level at 19%, along with food insecurities and a lack of opportunities. These findings are among the worst in the country. In education, funding is low and it is shown in the performance by the level of the fourth and eighth grade math and reading competencies. All these factors make it 50 out of 50 on the best place to live list and number one on the worst place to live in in the US. I would like to thank you for watching. Let me know if you live in one of these states and your thoughts. I encourage you to check out the best places to live in 2023. I will link my video.